Uh, all right, here you go. Best of 2019. But like me, however, who only enjoyed good games, it was actually 2019. Oh, and it's not even bait. Ten minutes. Is he a like fucking amateur? Bad video what is this fucking? For people like do? me, however, who only enjoyed good bad game, black. games, it was actually a very slow year. What we are experiencing it was slow right year, now I told is you. the calm before the storm. I, next year is yeah, when shit year. goes down. That's March, what shit you goes have down. Final Fantasy, Ori, Neo, Doom Eternal, Cyberpunk, Resident Evil, Last of Us, and then out of nowhere, Valve, a studio that has not put out a real game since 2011, they come out and say, "Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Half-Life 3 is coming out in March too." Like what? Mm. What the fuck? Obviously, I am very excited to play this but on the other hand i am kind of dreading having to set up all this virtual reality <sighs> shit again like, the technology up. behind vr is amazing but it is not consumer ready yet the headsets are too bulky too yeah. uncomfortable to wear too many wires too many plugs you need an entire room dedicated to playing the valve index which costs a thousand dollars it is so many hoops to jump through that i don't even understand who gets to play half-life 3 <laughs> and on top of that it I has to live up know. to being half-life 3 so Good luck, Valve. Before we get to my list, let's do a rundown. Kingdom Hearts 3, Masterpiece. Everybody loved this one. The graphics on Ratatouille were so realistic. The guy who makes it looks like he jumped out of the game. We got the long-awaited <laughs> Switch port of Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Apex Legends finally dethroned Fortnite as the greatest game of all time, and then was forgotten two weeks later. Xbox, what can I say? These guys proved me wrong. I thought consoles could not get larger than the Xbox one, and then they go, Xbox Scarlet? That's a stupid name. No, this is called the new Xbox Series X U. This was one of those weird situations where a studio puts out a fun game that I enjoy. The animation is beautiful. Luigi gets a chainsaw at one point, fucking kills a guy. We also get a more in-depth look at the language the Mario Brothers use to communicate with each other. I hey, hey, bro. Oh. Oh. I believe it's Italian. Sayonara Wild Hearts was the only game this year to feature Queen Latifah as the narrator. Bloodstained was a little dusty compared to contemporaries like Hollow Knight and Guacamelee, but those games don't allow you to shoot a bouncy pig at your enemies or summon frogs to help you fight a big cat. Oh shit. Here we go. This oh, this was the Metrovania game you wanted to play after uh, Space Symphony. Okay, I beat him. Speaking of broken ass <clears throat> games, Star Wars, holy shit, is this one unfinished buggy fuckfest. Now this is pod racing. I love glitches because they're funny. However, I also like functional video games. I don't think I went 30 minutes in this game without some crazy glitch happening to me. Overall, the best EA game in 10 yeah. years. Death Stranding was that a game that I enjoyed so much that my review triggered another classic 50 minute rant. Donkey, you're being actually a fucking moron just be real that you just had a bad time with the game why can't reviewers just say that ring fit is a game where you actually walk and you can get a legitimate workout playing it what tom came out it is insane it's like a teletubby acid trip from hell babies are laughing over everything and the music is going <laughs> Wait, Katana Zero, my friend made this. It's a great killing game. A lot of blood, a lot of slick action and tricks you can pull off. I'm telling you, that one hit kill, that's how you make it fun. Call of Duty had a cool mission, played a lot of team fight had tactics. Cool Yoshi's mission. crappy world was crappier than Yoshi's other world. Short hike, good. King of Cards was good. Duck game patched up the goose, so it's ruined now. What else was there? Uh, Chameleon Twist, was that this year? No, that came out in 1998. <laughs> Devil Guy 5 is about as video gamey as video games get. Yeah. It is non-stop high octane ant juggling madness. Shoot your robotic arm off at a demon. It's okay, it has a built-in jetpack, you moron. Utilize your motorcycle chainsaws. Shoot enemies with your hat. Devil Man is not afraid to be stupid. It wears its random. corny dialogue and music like a badge of honor and knows when to shut up and let the gameplay do the talking.
Remember that man from Throne Game called Golden Finger? He was always acting like he was everybody's friend, but really, he was the biggest weasel of all. In Slay the Spire, you play as that guy. The entire game is about trying to mitigate damage really while you secretly build up your secret fucklers combo. You just waltz around for a while, blocking attacks, going, Ah, don't 19. mind me. I am just an old man looking for my potato until it's too late. Now I can unleash the true power of my fungus blast. Zombies Mansion 2, not quite as intense as Luigi's, but a nice attempt. There will always be the argument that shitty Bubsy controls make old horror games scarier, and that is true, but I also despise them. Sloppy controls? I haven't seen it in my playthrough. Yeah, I will admit actually, like the vehicle control in certain sections is absolutely abysmal. What really elevates this remake over the original is this. This is amazing. In the old games, every time you open a door, you gotta watch one of these. Oops. That's cancer. Wrong room. No, wait, that was the right way. No, wait a minute. No, this is wrong, actually. Stop it! Don't open that door! <laughs> Thanks to this new technology, you can now stop being afraid of doors and start being afraid of what's behind them. You'll enter an empty hallway and there's rain pouring in through a broken window, creating a puddle around a corpse. Or maybe it's a zombie. Footsteps echo in the distance while you solve the puzzle of the unicorn statue that comes standard with every police station. Resident Evil 2 is at its best in these eerie, suspenseful moments. And then you have to fight a giant eyeball monster with a rocket launcher. Super Mario Maker 2, baby! Super Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Maker 2, Game of the Super Mario Maker 2. Wait a minute. The average Mario Maker level is not going to be extremely polished or well thought out, but that's the whole fun of it. It's like a metal detector. You never know what garbage you'll dig up next unless you sort by popularity. Then you'll just get this. Here is a level that was most likely designed by a six-year-old. Here's one called Mario Goes to Bowling. Okay, that was it. What keeps you hooked, though, are those elusive good levels. Those ones where you gotta go, damn, how did they make this? Those hidden gems where a designer beats Nintendo at their own game is what fuels the hunt. I played a lot of RPGs this year, and surprisingly, I enjoyed most of them. But there was one that really stuck with me, called Earthbound. It's a weirdo game, where other RPGs go left, Earthbound goes up. The battle teams sound like Frasier. Instead of being set in a steampunk fantasy world that takes place in suburban America, instead of battling skeletons and beasts, you go up against hippies and abstract art. The only conventional part of Earthbound is the combat, which is actually kind of lame. But you, but you don't you don't play it for the combat, you play it for the story. Within the first 20 minutes, you become emotionally invested in a bumblebee from the future. A circus tent tries to kill you. A man transforms himself into a dungeon. Then you enter him and hear this music for about 30 minutes. This music is one of my greatest accomplishments. This game is good as fuck. If Sekiro was only this one fight against the Guardian Ape, it would still be the best game of 2019. But it also includes a bonus entire video game. These guys have come a long way from Richard! Now when they make a game, it's more like this monkey fight is the moment where everything you've learned thus far is thrown out the window. He's so fucking big and fast and he's killing everything in the <laughs> What an incredible battle this was. This is some shit I'll be telling my grandkids about. And then he jumped into the air and started throwing doo-doo at me. So many deaths, so many failed attempts until I finally trumped this foul beast. Spoilers. But then he comes back to life, so I had to fight him like 20 more times, and then he was truly defeated for real. But then you gotta fight two of them at the same time. I agree with this list. 
I haven't played all the games, but uh, it was it was kind of a dry year, 2018, for games. But uh, 2020 will get better. It'll get better. 2019, 2020. Yes, I don't know if I said 2018. I don't know. But it'll, 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 it'll get better before I don't experience this Christmas song.